SpaceX surprised everyone. They recovered parts from Starship but not from where we expected. It wasn't Booster 13, it was Ship 31. This has the space community buzzing. It shows SpaceX's commitment to reusability. This is a game changer for space travel. The recovery of Ship 31 parts is a major win. SpaceX is getting closer to making space travel affordable. Imagine a future where rockets are like airplanes, they fly again and again. This is the future SpaceX is building. Two ships, Limitless and Buon Renegade, were involved. They monitored the landing of Ship 31. After careful observation, they moved in to retrieve the valuable pieces. This operation was a success thanks to the dedication of the teams involved. The recovery of Ship 31 marks a turning point in space exploration. It's not just about reaching for the stars, it's about doing it efficiently and affordably. This is the essence of SpaceX's vision and they are proving that it's possible. SpaceX isn't just aiming for space, they're aiming for affordability. Their secret weapon? Reusability. Imagine rockets returning to Earth ready to fly again. This is the holy grail of space travel. It changes everything. Reusability means lower costs. Lower costs mean more opportunities. More people will experience the wonders of space. It opens doors for scientific discoveries and new industries. Space tourism becomes a real possibility. SpaceX's commitment to reusability is shaking things up. Traditional space agencies are taking notice. The industry is changing, competition is fierce and that's good for everyone, it drives innovation and pushes boundaries. The recovery of Ship 31 parts is a powerful symbol. It shows that reusability is not a dream, it's achievable. SpaceX is making it a reality. This is a giant leap for space exploration. The recovery of Ship 31 was a carefully planned operation. The Limitless ship played a key role. It returned to port in Australia carrying precious cargo. These weren't just any parts, they were pieces of history, evidence of humanity's reach for the stars. The Limitless wasn't alone. The Buon Renegade worked alongside it. They stood watch over the landing site. They ensured that every valuable component was recovered. This was a testament to the teamwork and precision that defined SpaceX's operations. The recovery process wasn't easy. The ships had to navigate challenging conditions. They had a limited time to secure the components. But they succeeded, demonstrating the skill and determination of the recovery teams. The recovered components were carefully transported to Exmouth Port in Australia. From there, they began their journey to a research facility. Each piece held valuable data, insights that would shape the future of SpaceX's Starship program. Among the recovered parts, two stood out co-PV tanks and heat shield tiles. These weren't just random pieces. They held valuable clues about Ship 31's journey. They were testaments to the intense conditions the spacecraft had endured. The co-PV tanks were in surprisingly good condition. This was a positive sign. It suggested that key systems had functioned as intended. It fueled hopes for the reusability of these components, a major step towards SpaceX's goals. The heat shield tiles told another story. They showed signs of wear and tear. But their condition revealed a clever design choice. They were glued, not pinned. This likely contributed to their resilience during the fiery re-entry. The recovery of these components wasn't just about salvaging parts, it was about gathering data. Each piece held valuable information. This information would be analyzed, scrutinized, it would fuel improvements in future Starship designs. Section 5. Pieces of the Puzzle. What Remains of Ship 31. While the recovery of parts was a success, Ship 31 itself was not recovered intact. The Renegade ship returned to port without the spacecraft. The attempt to bring back the entire ship had proven unsuccessful, but hope remained. Large sections of Ship 31 were still out there. The nose cone, a vital part, was likely salvageable. The aft section housing the engines and payload bay was another target for recovery. Recovery efforts were ongoing. Teams were working tirelessly to locate and retrieve these remaining pieces. Each piece recovered brought SpaceX closer to a complete understanding of Ship 31's performance. The recovery of Ship 31 was a complex operation. It was a puzzle, with each recovered part bringing us closer to the complete picture. It was a testament to SpaceX's commitment to learning, adapting, and pushing the boundaries of space exploration. Section 6. Learning from the Past, 
building for the future. The recovered parts from Ship 31 weren't just going into storage. They were headed for Starbase, SpaceX's development facility. Here, they would be meticulously examined. Every scratch, every dent, every sign of wear and tear held valuable information. This is how SpaceX operates. They learn from every flight. They analyze successes and failures. They iterate and improve. This data-driven approach is central to their rapid progress. The data from Ship 31's recovered parts would be fed into computer models. It would inform design changes. It would help make future starships safer, more reliable, and more efficient. This is the heart of SpaceX's philosophy constant improvement. They don't rest on their laurels. They push the boundaries. They learn from every launch, every landing, every recovery. They are building the future of spaceflight, one recovered part at a time. Section 7. The next chapter, Booster 13 awaits. With the recovery of Ship 31 parts well underway, attention turned to Booster 13. This massive rocket booster was also a target for recovery. Its proximity to SpaceX's facilities made it a prime candidate for retrieval. The recovery of Booster 13 would be a major achievement. It would be a powerful symbol of SpaceX's commitment to reusability. It would also provide valuable data for the continued development of the Starship program. The recovery operation was expected to be as complex and challenging as that of Ship 31. But SpaceX had proven its ability to overcome obstacles. They had the technology, the experience, and the determination to succeed. The recovery of Booster 13 would be a major milestone in SpaceX's journey to make life multiplanetary. It would be a step towards a future where humanity explores the cosmos aboard reusable spacecraft, pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity and exploration. Section 8, SpaceX, leading the charge to a new space age. SpaceX is not just a company, it's a vision. It's a belief that humanity's future lies among the stars, and they are not just talking about it, they are building it, making space travel more accessible and sustainable. The recovery of Ship 31 parts and Booster 13 are engineering feats, symbols of a paradigm shift in space exploration. Rockets are not disposable but reusable, making space travel a possibility for many. SpaceX is leading the charge to this new space age, inspiring a generation of scientists, engineers and dreamers, showing the world what is possible. The journey to the stars is long and challenging, but SpaceX is showing us that it is possible, building the future one launch, one landing, one recovery at a time. Section 9. The Final Frontier Competition and Collaboration in Space SpaceX is not alone in this new space race. Nations like China are also setting their sights on the stars, with ambitious plans for lunar exploration. This competition is driving innovation at an unprecedented pace, but it's not just about competition, collaboration is also key. SpaceX works closely with NASA and other international partners. They share knowledge and resources. They understand that the challenges of space exploration are best tackled together. The future of space exploration is bright. With companies like SpaceX leading the way, we are on the cusp of a new era of discovery. An era where humanity becomes a multiplanetary species where the secrets of the universe are unlocked and where the impossible becomes possible. The journey has just begun, but with each launch, each landing, each recovery, we are one step closer to reaching our full potential as a species. The final frontier awaits and we are ready to explore it together.